My entire body, especially my torso, my arms, and my face, it was all red and bumpy and itchy, and it just was not very visually appealing. And as you can tell from looking at me right now, right now I have absolutely no seborrheic dermatitis whatsoever. My skin is pretty clear. My Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Sunday Q&A. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today's question is with regard to my body. Specifically, how has my body changed over the course of the last year? This is installment number four of my one year review of the carnivore diet. If you guys have been watching, you know that March 1st of last year was when I started the carnivore diet and this is the longest that I've ever done it. I did it twice before, once in January of 2013 and then the other time in April of 2015, but each of those times I only did it for two months. So this is the longest that I've ever done the carnivore diet. In terms of my actual physical transformation, in terms of the level of leanness that I have, I'm going to include a picture right over here of when I started it last year. That was, I believe, February 28th or 29th of last year. So the day before I started the carnivore diet, it was a Sunday. And one of the things that I wanted to note is that this picture is not an accurate reflection of how I normally look. I was doing a two month experiment of vegetarian on my non-workout days. And the day before I took that picture, what happened was that was my vegetarian day. And on my vegetarian day, I was experimenting with just doing breakfast. So one meal a day. And typically a few things worth noting is when I consume a lot of vegetables, I get really, really bloated. And also when I fast for a prolonged period of time, I also get really, really bloated. So in that picture, it's not really an accurate reflection of how I look year round because generally my body fat tends to hover between 6% and 12% all year round. And in terms of the level that I'm at right now, in terms of my level of leanness, I've been this lean or leaner on paleo diet. I've been this lean or leaner on the keto diet. And I've been this lean or leaner on the carnivore diet. In fact, last year, around mid-April, this was me on the carnivore diet when I was around six to eight percent. So in terms of my actual level of leanness, this isn't the leanest that I've ever been, but it's also not the heaviest I've ever been. In terms of my weight, my weight really isn't too different from where it was back then. Right now, my weight is around 154 pounds. To be exact, it was 154.2 pounds, and that was a couple days ago. So my weight fluctuation hasn't really changed that much. And in terms of my actual body composition, last year when I was experimenting with the vegan or with the carnivore diet, what I did was I had never done a bulk on carnivore because I personally, I'm not a fan of bulking diets. I don't think that they are beneficial, but I wanted to just kind of see how exactly I would feel doing a bulk on carnivore. And I wanted to just put on some size. I wasn't expecting to put on a ton of muscle, but inside of my clothes, when I had my shirt on, it didn't even look like I worked out. I had almost no traps if you looked at me with my shirt on. So I just wanted to fill my clothes out. So I ended up doing a bulk on carnivore. And at my peak weight, I ended up gaining 22 pounds in exactly four weeks. And that was exactly 22 pounds. I'm going to include like right up over here, but that was my heaviest on the carnivore diet. And then I just wasn't feeling that great. I felt really, really sluggish, really slow. My endurance was all the way down. I had no motivation to work out. My libido was pretty low. So I decided to say, screw it with the cutting diet or with the bulking diet. And I decided just to go back to what I was doing normally. And that was just eating to satiation. And when I did that, I ended up getting back to the body that you see in front of me right now. But in terms of my actual body composition, again, I have achieved this level of lean this on paleo keto and also carnivore and also I have been this lean in the past when I incorporated a lot of carbohydrates so in terms of my body composition it's not like I made a tremendous improvement in my physical appearance the thing that did make a big difference is if you recall I had seborrheic dermatitis a couple years ago a lot of people that get diagnosed with ulcerative colitis they also get chronic sinusitis and seborrheic dermatitis for me I was lucky enough to get both of those so I ended up getting seborrheic dermatitis and it was really bad my entire body especially my torso so my arms and my face, it was all red and bumpy and itchy, and it just was not very visually appealing. And as you can tell from looking at me right now, right now I have absolutely no seborrheic dermatitis whatsoever. My skin is pretty clear. My facial complexion, again, is pretty clear. So in terms of my actual physical body, that has been the biggest transformation that I have noticed over the course of the last year. The other thing is I'm barely using any cream whatsoever. Last year, I was going through an entire bottle of this corticosteroid cream every single two weeks. And over the course of the last year, I've gone through a couple of bottles. So my dosage is about 13 times less than what I was doing before for that medication. But I don't even think I need that. I do a little dab every once in a while more as maintenance because I don't want it repeating on itself. And specifically, I'll do it in very sweaty areas because I train a lot. And especially with the strongman training that I'm doing, I get really, really sweaty. So I'll put that corticosteroid cream around the groin area just because I don't want the seborrheic dermatitis coming back. But really, I honestly don't think I need it. I haven't put any, so any of that 
cream on my chest or on my face in well over a year and I haven't needed to put it on whatsoever. So that has been the biggest transformation in terms of my actual physical appearance, not my level of leanness, not anything else. That was the biggest change. And right now I'm feeling absolutely amazing. I'm really happy with how I look in terms of my body fat percentage. I would like to be a little bit heavier. Ideally, I looked my best in my opinion when I was at 177 pounds. I'll include a link right up over here. That was when I was doing the paleo diet. But personally, when I get into the high to mid 160s and even above that, I just find that my endurance goes down. I get really sluggish. I don't have the same mental clarity. So for me at this point, even though I'm not incredible, I'm, I'm happy with how I look, but I'm not as happy as how I would look if I was 177. I'm more happy with how I am feeling. So I would rather feel the way I want to feel than look how I want to look and not feel the way I want to feel if that makes sense to you guys. But basically that is how exactly my body has transformed over the course of the last year. I have gotten leaner from the when I started, but that was also because of the vegetarian diet. When I do the vegetarian diet, I lost a lot of muscle mass. I did gain some body fat percentage. I was retaining a lot of water. I was really, really bloated. And then within two to three days of doing the carnivore diet, all of that went away. I started getting a little bit leaner. The bloating went away. I wasn't as puffy. So over Overall, it has been a terrific year and I plan on continuing this way of eating until I find that it is no longer benefiting me. As soon as I find that it's no longer benefiting me, then I'm going to start incorporating other foods. But this last year has been tremendous. I'm going to stick with it and I'm going to see how long I can ride this out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to make more of these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.